when I was working at the PR firm, I was writing, sort of, um, I was taking UCLA extension classes in screenwriting, and I was just, you know, I, I was, I, I just really had my eye on the ball in terms of writing. And uh, Susan Geller put me in touch with Andy and Jeff, Andy Luck and Jeff Miller, who had this producing deal at USC. I mean, at, at the producing deal at Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. um, they came out of the USC Peter Stark producing program and were one of these first young uh, guys to get a deal at Warner Brothers. And I developed a screenplay with them based on an idea they had. Um, and it was called Doing Time on Planet Earth. And it was about a kid who's uh, a teenager in a small town who somehow believes he's comes to believe that he's actually an extraterrestrial. And because, you know, and there's a group of, it was a comedy, sci-fi sci comedy. And there are a group of people that think they are actually extraterrestrials who are looking for this sort of, their, their sort of leader and a spaceship that's gonna take them back to their planet. And this kid who the, the show is about, I mean, the movie's about um, his father owns a, um, a holiday owns a holiday and manages a holiday with a revolving restaurant that this group actually thinks may be a spaceship that's and um, it was zany let's put it that way <laughs> but I wrote a treatment for it and um, we pitched it to Mark Canton we pitched the movie to Mark Canton who was at Warner Brothers at the time and to my it was my first um, experience sort of going through a studio gate and I really was just like thrilled you know beyond anything just to sort of like get an audience with you know the with Mark Hanton and I was really I was su really surprised that in fact they um, hired me to write the screenplay and it was at a time when people wrote I don't know that they do it so much now but you know you it, I got hired off the treatment. I'd written like sort of a 15 page treatment and, and I'd had a script that I'd written for, um, uh, in, in, at UCLA. So I'd had a couple writing samples and they hired me at the time, actually, cause this connects to something that happened later in my career. And I kind of feel like there are so many things that just, um, are just serendipity that you just can't ever plan on. And when people ask me, like, how do you get a job in the business or how do you get your foot in the door? The answer is honestly, like, I would have no idea. You just sort of have to, I think the number one thing you have to do is be obsessively thinking about it, which is what I was doing. I was obsessively thinking about it. But the chain of events that led to um, sort of like major events in my career are things that I would have no idea of how those dots connected until I looked back on them later and I was like, wow. And one of those dots was um, I left Gutman and Pam because for a short time before I sold this script and for a few months, for about six months maybe at the most, I worked at Showtime um, to become sort of the assistant to the head of West Coast Publicity there. And actually I was, I was sort of like a junior publicist, so it was like kind of a, a promotion. And I was the worst publicist ever. I was really so uninterested in publicizing anything except, you know, possibly publicizing my own career. So I, I would just be, I, I, I would be, um, you know, the idea of having to watch these shows that I didn't want to watch and just, it wasn't, it really was not in my blood to be a publicist, but it was, I was happy to have the, the job. But um, Peter Chernin was the president of Showtime at the time and um, Showtime was you know still fairly fledgling network and Peter was sort of you know at the, he was running the network but it was still a fairly young guy and and um, I got to know Peter a little bit and I left when I I left that job when I sold this script which I think was like a, a, a big shock to everybody because I think they were sort of at one point wondering why they ever hired this young kid to work there to begin with and the next minute I was like out the door because I'd sold the screenplay so they were like what um, but when I had the opportunity to sort of meet on 90210 and they were one and and I'd met Aaron Spelling and then you know I'll talk about that um, 
you know, the, the major decision maker at Fox at the time was Peter Chernin, who had to dis, who had to basically give me the blessing to go ahead and write that, to you know, to write the pilot. Mm -hmm. That's serendipity. <laughs> That's serendipity. Yeah, you really, you just, um, you can't, you just really have to. I think, uh, in terms of like being a writer in this business, just sort of pursue. First of all. Be, follow your own path and be yourself as much as possible because that's certainly what I what I was doing. I mean, I was like, um, you know, a fairly geeky kid just wanting to like do this so badly and um, just having no idea how the how sort of like the um, the pieces would connect.